everybody, my name is Dana Scheider, for those of you who don't know me. Welcome to Pre-Algebra Made Easy. Today's lesson is multiplying negative numbers. My previous videos have touched on adding and subtracting negative numbers, so today I'm going to explain how to deal with the positive and negative signs when you're multiplying. You can learn to multiply negative numbers if you understand the basics of multiplication, the idea of negative numbers and integers, and I also recommend that you have a little familiarity with absolute value. That's probably not absolutely necessary, but I would recommend it. Um, if you don't understand any of these things, then you're going to have a really hard time multiplying negative numbers, and I suggest brushing up on them before you move forward. There are also some things that you don't need to know to multiply negative numbers. You don't need to understand fractions and decimals, although that's going to be something you'll want to learn soon. And you also, as always, don't need to know why you would want to multiply negative numbers. You can learn to do the problems without understanding the applications, and I would just want to emphasize that since a lot of people are really intimidated when they don't understand the applications of something. So in this video, we're going to cover multiplying a positive number by another positive number. Hopefully this should be a review for most of you a negative number by another negative number, and finally, a negative number by a positive number. When you multiply a positive number by another positive number, the result is also positive. This should be grade school for most of you. So positive 6 times positive 3 equals positive 18. Positive 25 times positive 25 equals positive 600 and positive 1.5 times positive 2, for those of you who understand decimals, equals positive 3. Now when you're multiplying two negative numbers, a negative number by another negative number, that result is also positive. That's really counterintuitive for most people. If you're wondering why it's that way, there is an article in my references at the end of this video that goes into that. But for now, for most of you, it's going to be enough to just remember negative times a negative is a positive. So negative 6 times negative 3 equals positive 18. Negative 25 times negative 25 equals positive 600. And negative 1.5 times negative 2, for those of you who understand decimals, is positive 3. So the general rule here is if you're multiplying two numbers that have the same sign, that is to say both numbers are positive or both numbers are negative, the result is always going to be positive. So positive 3 times positive 16 equals positive 48, and negative 3 times negative 16 equals positive 48. Now, when you're multiplying numbers with different signs, when you have one positive number and one negative number, that's when the result is going to be negative. So negative 4 times positive 6, negative 24. Positive 2 times negative 362, negative 724. Negative 0 0.2 times positive 5, for those of you who understand decimals, negative 1. So this little chart shows the summary of the rules so far. If you have a positive and a positive, it's positive. If it's po negative and a negative, the result is positive. And if the initial numbers are positive and negative, then the results are negative. I want to cover really briefly the case where you have kind of a string of numbers to multiply, and some are positive and some are negative. So the way that you're going to want to do this is you're going to multiply them in twos. First, multiply the first two numbers then multiply the answer to that by the third number, then multiply the answer to that by the fourth number, and so on. So here are some examples. 3 times 2 times 2, you're going to simplify that to 6 times 2, and that's 12. Now if you have negatives involved, then you're going to just follow the same procedure using the rules for multiplying negatives. So the next example is negative 8 times 4 times 5. So you'll start by multiplying negative 8 times 4. Since that's a negative and a positive, you're going to get negative 32. Negative 8, positive 4, negative 32. 
Now you're going to multiply the negative 32 by the 5. And again, you have a negative and a positive. So your answer is going to be negative 160. Finally, here's one with 4. We have negative 3 times 2 times 5 times negative 2. So the same thing, you're going to multiply negative 3 times 2. Those are different signs, so you'll get a negative number. So now you have negative 6 times 5 times negative 2. So you're going to do the same step again, where you multiply negative 6 times 5. That'll get you negative 30. Then you multiply the negative 30 by the negative 2. And since those have the same sign, the answer there is going to be positive 60. So when you multiply two numbers with the same sign, doesn't matter if the sign is positive or negative, you'll get a positive product. If you multiply one positive number and one negative number, that gets you a negative product. And when you're multiplying more than two numbers, just multiply them two at a time until you've gone through all of them. So you can feel free to ask questions in the comments. I do answer all the questions that get asked. Subscribe if you found this video helpful and do visit my blog, danatutorsmath.blogspot.com for more resources and videos about math.